What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. It is Thirsty Thursday. The weekend is upon us. You know, one more day till Friday. And I hope everybody's going to have a great one. It's kind of pouring down rain out here. I'm taking a little break from the workshop down in the basement. Uh, yeah, I didn't, you know, I should actually do my videos from the basement since basically that's where we all do them, of course, us being the YouTubers. Um, it's crazy because no matter what you think about Dak Prescott, Dak Prescott is literally the generator of all things media. Every single day, it is about Dak Prescott, how the Cowboys are screwing up, or how the Cowboys should replace him, how they should get rid of him, and everything, and all that. That This is the Dak Prescott's last year, that Dak Prescott has got leverage over him. The Joneses love him, they hate him, whatever. They, there's just so much stuff that goes on. I mean, you got Club Shay Shay talking to Cam Newton, and he's saying that Dak needs to be a dog. You've got every show, every single day on ESPN talking about Dak Prescott. If you're Dak Prescott, you have to be the most talked about figure in sports. I mean, seriously, think about that for a second. Who gets talked about more than Dak Prescott? I'll wait. Because there is nobody. Dak Prescott is numero uno, topic number one. So for that reason alone, that reason alone, there's no way in hell Jerry Jones is going to let that get away. Jerry Jones is about the stirring shit up. Who stirs the shit up more? Who creates more passionate arguments? Who is talked about more than Dak Prescott? Nobody. Nobody. And the funny thing is, is it's, it's almost comical to me how looking at the comments of the people who hate Dak, yeah, this is Dak's last roundup. Dak is trash. He's going to be out on the streets. You literally act like, the Cowboys are doing a charity thing for Dak Prescott, you know, giving him a job, you know, special treatment because they feel sorry for him. And if they don't give him one, he's going to be out on the streets, you know, homeless. Um, hate to tell you, Dak Prescott, whether it's with the Cowboys or if they're dumb enough to let him go, he's going to get paid. And Dak Prescott is going about his business like an assassin. Now, a couple of things out here. You don't typically see, or excuse me, in the offseason, you typically see, you can guarantee two things. A, Cowboys aren't going to be signing any big name free agents. We all know this, okay? Thing two, you would always see the Zeke Elliott workouts, right? So it's very rare that you see a Dak Prescott one. And this might be a message that he's kind of sending to everybody that, you know what, maybe to the Joneses. If you don't think that I am going to come out here ready to rock and roll, that I am going to make sure I get every dime, or you're going to make yourself sick because you lost me. And let's be clear here. Let's be clear here. I want to say this. And you can like me or hate me, but let, I'll play. Let me play Dak working out in the background here. Let's get that going. Yeah! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to turn the music off of there in case it gets copyrighted. But yeah, Dak is working his ass off. And if I look, looking at him, doesn't he look a little slimmer? Look at the look on his face. He is looking like he is he's busting ass because he knows the better he plays, the more the Cowboys are going to have to pay or somebody else. And I, I want to remind you of something that Kirk freaking Cousins just got forty five million, which is five more than Dak Prescott's right now with a ruptured Achilles tendon to go to Atlanta. Yeah. Now, again. I'm a nobody. When I said back, you know, when, when he was in his fourth year that the Cowboys needed to run, not walk, 
to get his deal done. And Jerry Jones, of course, saying, you know, deadlines make deals get done. Well, no, they don't. Because you were working at the deadline to try and get him signed on a franchise tag and couldn't get it done. So apparently you're wrong. And you did finally get it done the next year, but you screwed the pooch. And here we are again with something that should have been done last year. That's just going to cost you more money. You could have gotten it done before everybody started getting deep in the 50s. Before Justin Herbert, before Lamar Jackson, before Jalen Hurts, before all of them. Instead, you waited. And you're still waiting. But don't take my word for it. Shout out to RJ and Lindsey Rhodes. Because here, let me play them. Because they they got it right. And decided in that front office that like we in our private meetings with him. We know things you guys don't know on the outside, sure. and I just don't think that he has it or, you know, right. whatever it is, right? They're like, he can't do it. If that's something that they've decided, then that's a different story. But if they think that Dak is good, then they got to sign him now. And they should have signed him a year ago, and they're already late because he has all the leverage in this conversation. They have no leverage Nothing. whatsoever because even in the last time when they – he went into a prove it year with a tag and he got hurt and missed most of the season. Everyone was like, oh my gosh, it's so sad. What happens to these players? He's hurt and he can't even earn a living and he got screwed and then he got paid. He got paid. He got paid in your top of the market at the time. Let's see, his signing bonus, $66 million, coming off a year where he hardly played because of an injury and hadn't proven that he was healthy enough to play the next year. He gets a $66 million signing bonus, the most ever at the time. $75 million due to him in year one, the most ever at the time. So they didn't even get a bargain there, and he didn't even play. So we're going to take him into a prove-it year where he has to win the Super Bowl in order to earn a contract? Well, two things there. If he wins the Super Bowl, he just got so much more expensive right. for you. Like, now you're 100% taking him over the top. He has all the leverage, and he's a free agent. So he could go talk to anyone who's desperate for a quarterback, has all the cap room in the room. You're not negotiating against yourself anymore. And because you've taken him here so many times, what's his loyalty to you? He going to give you a hometown discount? Of course not. He's going to get top of the market money no matter what. So the only, the only thing that makes sense from a Cowboys standpoint in terms of negotiation right now for them to be in this position is if they have internally decided he is not the guy we want to move forward with. And I don't think that that's true. I think that they're just dragging their heels because Jerry Jones thinks that deadlines spur action and this is the way Stupid business shit. is done, but it is not the way, in my opinion, the way business is done when contracts escalate the way that they do yeah, in the don't. NFL. He's just going to get more expensive. They're all going to get more expensive the further that you kick the can down the road. I'm getting, I'm getting fired up. I don't even care about, like, I'm not even a Cowboys fan. This just, like, infuriates me, and I don't know well, why. The person who launches a thousand ships without Dak Prescott, without Dak Prescott, what, what do they talk about? Honestly, every single day. I don't know what they talk about if there was no conversation about the Cowboys. And so Dak Prescott, he's good for business, but I think this is kind of a message to the Joneses that, Hey, I'm coming out here and I'm going to say this. Here's the thing with Dak Prescott. I don't know that any time that he has been put in this position, you know, you got to understand, he was never anointed the guy. But whenever he's had to show it from high school to college to the NFL, that guy has proven it. He's beat the Joneses a couple of times before. Yeah. The Joneses were gambling and saying, you know, we're not going to have to pay him that much. Okay. They can continue to play this game if they want. Dak will show them again. All right, good people. I hope you all are having a great day. And I will see you sometime real soon. Peace out.